getting ready to stimulate our brains. Are you ready to stimulate your brain? I've got some fun games. I'm confident that our, oh my gosh, very cold. I'm confident that our, our OGs, our diehards, our community is gonna be right on board with them. We are doing a brain game fitness class this morning. Most of it, all of it, is gonna be body weight oriented. So we're just gonna move, we're gonna have some fun, we're gonna play some games. I'm hopefully gonna remember those games. I've got a special couple of memory things for you. So, are you ready? Let's get ready. Let's stand with our feet a little wider than hip width distance apart. Let's unlock the knees. Good, and then roll your shoulders back. Thank you, Tracy. I've been wondering if anybody's gonna notice because this is the longest my hair has been in a while. It's not gonna get much longer. I'm just trying a little bob. <laughs> but it's long in comparison to my very short pixie. Who knows, I may go back, I may go forward. I'm just having, I'm having fun with the curls right now, so. Yeah, it feels good. Let's go two more. Good, last one. And then let's roll the shoulders in the opposite direction, back to front. Just let this feel good and nourishing. I've got a little kind of like a squirrel stuck in my shoulder this morning. So I'm just gonna like kind of move around that squirrel. <laughs> it's an angry squirrel, maybe more like a hedgehog. It's right up in here, just like Argh. So I'm trying to be really gentle. Wow, it's super cold for all of you. All right, well, let's warm ourselves up. Let's go two more. And last one. We're gonna take the right arm up, bend your right knee and just reach over, big stretch, and then go the other way, reach over. And just let those hips reach side to side. Just get some good, juicy movement through your spine. I'm giving my hip a little push, a gentle push, just to kind of find that big arc over the top. Good, couple more, that's it. Last one, yes. Now we're gonna take the right knee bend and reach across to the left and then alternate it. So we're just moving through our spine, moving and moving through our spine. Good, reach it across. Let's go for four more, good, three. Nice, just gentle, juicy body movement too. Good, and last one. Bring both arms over to a T. Let's fold out your hips flat back forward. Just find that nice long hamstring stretch. Take your hands to your knees, bend your knees round your spine, rolling all the way up to the top. Arms out to the T again, hinge forward. Hands to the knees as you bend and round. Curl your tail under as you roll all the way to the top. Arms out to the team. One more time like this, yeah? Hinge forward, nice flat back forward. Take your hands to your thighs. Curl your tail all the way under. To come all the way up, roll those shoulders. Let's just do a little marching in place. Just get a little bit more warmth coming in. So lift those knees nice and high. So our first round of exercises is going to be a little bit of a word association. We're gonna do a series of movements, and with each movement, I'll give you a new word to remember. Before we start another move, we'll have to say or chat. I know it's gonna be hard to keep moving and chatting in the, in the comment box, but if you can chat, like, go for it. Or if there's two of you, take turns chatting. So we have a move and a word, and then we'll get another word before we get a new move, and we'll have to say the first two words in a row, then we'll get another word, and then we'll say those words in a row, and so on and so forth. We'll build up to, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, okay. Uh, one more thing, just roll to the ball of your right foot, stretch those toesy woesies, <laughs> lower down. Other side, roll to the ball of the left. Good, a couple more, roll, and press, and then last one. Okay, so we're gonna start with little arm circles. Take your arms out to the side, center your legs somewhat close together, and just start to find the circles that make sense for you. Now, if you have any shoulder tension, you might wanna take your circles a little lower so you can find the rotation of your arm, and just our rotation movement in a circle. 
any anatomy people who are correcting me. It's not actually rotation, just the circular movement of your arm, yeah? So no. <laughs> <laughs> Colleen comes in with the brain games for two weeks ago. I love it. <laughs> All right, those are not the words for today. <laughs> Was it snails? I don't remember. <laughs> All right, just find your circle. You crack me up. Good. Nice, wide, big circles. Pressing around. Good. All right. Right here. So the word for your arm circles is box. B-O-X. Good. Let's reverse our arm circles. And again, just letting these feel. <laughs> feel like a, I erased the other words, Colleen, so I don't know what they are. Let, let this just feel very, very free. All right, pay attention to these words, you all. <laughs> what was the arm word? Do you remember? It was box. Okay. Give me eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, lower down, release. We're gonna come into our marches side to side again. Just bend those arms. Good. Get it going. Fold, bringing that knee right up to the center of your abdomen. Swinging your arms. Let it be whatever it needs to be for you. If you've got, you're on your rebounders. I know some of you do this on your rebounder. Go ahead. Find it. Good. All right. So your second word is snake. Good. That's it. Go four, three, two, and one. What were the first two words? Don't bother chatting them. They were box and snake. All right, you with me? Box and snake. Okay, let's come into a wide position side to side. We're gonna go into some side lunges. So we're gonna press the hips back, chest stays up as high as you can, come back to center. Reach over to the side, come back to center. Good, reach. And up. Good. Reach. And up. That's it. Reach. And lift. Reach. And lift. All right. So hopefully you remember your first two words. Your word for lunges is leaf. Okay? I'm not repeating the other two until it's time. The word for side lunges is leaf. Let's go a couple more here. Side to side, reaching out, back center, out, back center. One more each direction, then we're gonna take a little stretch for our spine. Good. Take it over to the right, take your left hand down, find a rotation. Feel the inner thigh stretch on that left leg. Twist your spine, reach up, look up if you can. If you can't, just keep your focus down. Pressing through your heels for a little more strength and balance, bending that knee all the way down. Good. Let's come through center, bend both knees. Roll up through the spine, arms to the T. We'll bend over to the left side, all the way up. So this one was leaf, all right? This one was leaf. Side lunges are leaf. Good. Take your hands down to the ground. Roll all the way up. Can you say the first three words in a row? They were arm circles, marches, side lunges, or I'm going to give them to you in four, three, two, one. They were box. Snake, leaf. Come back in a little closer. All right, that's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna give you another word. Remember, box, snake, leaf. Here we go, squats down. We're going two pounds down, two pounds up. I hope you're saying them out loud at home. I don't expect you to comment, and I would rather you be moving, so don't worry if you don't get them in the chat box. Good, ah, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Good. 
all the way up. All right, for squats, our word is pole, P-O-L-E, pole, or P-O-L-L, -L, I guess, but I'm thinking of the long pole. Good. Reaching back, sitting. Can you start to remember those four words now in a row? That's it. Good. Give me four. And three. Nice and deep if you can. And two. Excellent. Now on the last one, take it down as low as you can. If you can come into a squat all the way down, if you need your hands in front, go in front. If you need to be up on your toes and have your heels elevated, try that. If you're just holding a midway squat, that's okay too. We're just going to do another twist. So keep your left hand down and open your right arm up to the sky. Maybe pushing your left knee back with your left elbow. Good. And then bring it all the way down. And do the other side. Good, bring it all the way down. Take a little rounding of your spine and then make your way down onto hands and knees. All right. Can you give me those four words? Say the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. All right, here they come. Are you ready? Box, snake, leaf, pole. And yes, I do have them written down because I can't do all those things. Okay. <laughs> What's the, oh, it's a wand. I love it. Okay, Tracy's got the emojis in the comments. By the way, Colleen, I still owe you a prize from the last one. I haven't forgotten. Um, so there'll be, a, there'll be a big one coming on this one too. So in a minute. All right, let's take your hands and knees down. Let's go into a little cat cow rounding the back. Reaching through chest and curling under, lifting through the center. Letting your spine really move long in both directions. Good. Reach and round. Okay, so come back to center. We're gonna do this little waist twister. Bring your right heel towards your right hip, and then we kind of spin a little bit, and then turn and look over your shoulder towards your heel. Spin on the knee, turn and look forward to other, turn, turn and look over the other shoulder to see your foot behind you. So you're just kind of making a little, like if your knee was your tail, you're wagging it side to side. There's no pressure on my knee right now. Most of the pressure are in my arms and my other leg, my supporting leg, okay? All right, so this is our exercise, our fifth one. And the word for this exercise is ear, E-A-R. Good. Let's see if you can remember the order. Adding ear on to the end. Good. That's it. We're going to do one more across. Good. Come back to center. Place it down. Let's round the spine. Curl. And arch the back. And then come back to a centered place. Pick your heel up toward your sits bone. And then turn and look at it. And what is your word for this exercise? Do you remember? Good. Yeah, this is a good one. It's nice for your waist. It's even a little nice for your shoulder articulation. And definitely we're getting a little hip juicing in there too. Good. Go a couple more to get nice and warm. We're making great time today getting through all these juicy exercises. And I have great news. I did say on Monday that March is a little wonky, but April gets real nice for us all again. So bear with me. I'm excited about April. <laughs> Good. One more across. Good. And lower. Let's take it just a cat cow to reset. I like to just shake it out here. Lengthen reach. Good. All right. I've got five words. Do you remember them? Ready? 
set. One, then two, then three, then four, and finally, the one we just did, five. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? I'm gonna say the words in five, four, three, two. I know there's a delay, so I'm giving you a chance. Oh, Tracy's in, box, snake, leaf, pole, ear. Awesome. Listen, y'all, if you're not remembering these words, just the act of considering is exercising your brain. So you're doing a great job, even if you're not remembering all of them. Let's come down onto our seat. Our last exercise for this section is a roll down, okay? So we're gonna take the hands behind our legs and just curl your pelvis back. Let your arms lengthen. You can use your hands on the mat. You can keep them behind your legs. Sometimes I really enjoy reaching back overhead taking that circle around to open the chest, curling up, pressing down to lift up through the center. There it is, and then we go back again. Oh, the last one was ear. I haven't said one for this one. Good. Reaching through, all right, so the last word in the series for this roll up exercise is rainbow. Rainbow. Yes. This is in my microphone. I didn't realize there was a corresponding emoji with each one, so <laughs> I guess it works out. Good. Let's go a couple more here. Just finding that articulation. Doing the best you can. If you're finding that it's not going smooth for you, or you're getting a little frustrated, then maybe do a halfway down, halfway up for you. Another option might be to do a little bridge. Just, you can always roll back and then roll back up. That works. We're trying to get a little stretch and articulation through the spine, so that's one of the things. Good, circle around. That's it. And one more time. Uh, I'm so ready for my plants to explode in spring. They're all like just ready to rock. All right, friends. We have the first word. It's, they're already in the comments, so you can see them. You just have to add the last one on. Do you remember what the last one was? Box, snake, leaf, wand, wand, pole, <laughs> ear, and rainbow yes all right excellent work good job everybody all right we've got another game so this game is good job Tracy I knew it was coming uh, this game is remembering colors in order I'm gonna put a screen up and you're gonna have 30 seconds to study and remember those colors then, as we go into a plank position, I want you to repeat those colors over and over again. And then after the plank is done, we're gonna do a 30 second plank. You can go on your knees or on your feet, whatever you like. After the colors, after we've done the plank, then I'm gonna ask you to chat what the color, order of the color was. All right, so I don't think there will be a way of cheating. Don't write them down. It's for your memory, <laughs> okay, different. All right, are you ready? Please let this work. We go into our colors. Ready, set, go. All right, look at those colors. I have to remember them too. All Almost there. Getting ready. The colors are going away in three, two, and one. It worked. All right, come on down with me in the plank. Hands under shoulders. You can be on your knees forward like so, or you can pop up to your plank on your feet 
a full high plank. We begin in three, find your position two, and one. Start repeating those colors in your mind. Good. We're here for 30 seconds, so find where you need to be supported. Find your strength. Find your reach. We're over halfway there. Looking for that nice, strong support, front and back. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, take a little stretch. Back. Hurry on over to your comment box and comment the order of the colors. If you're not playing along, we're just gonna take a stretch over to the side. We've got some competitive people in the chat today. <laughs> so can you remember those colors in order? Good. Over to the side, stretching out. Ooh. Good, let's roll up through our spine. All right, we've got Joy coming in first. Let's see if she's got it correct. Ready? She said green, she said orange, she said purple, blue, black, and red. Tracy's coming in a close second. Excellent work. Nice job. Really good. All right, we've got, kept wanting to mix up purple and blue. I did that on purpose just to make it a little more challenging, I know. All right, let's go into some stretches. Give your brain a, a rest. We're gonna be on our knees for a moment. You can always come up off the floor and do a lunge here with your knee off the floor. I'm gonna take my front foot forward and just find that 90-90, two 90-degree angles. I want you to think of this front hip just reaching down a bit. So it's angling down, you get a lot of length. <laughs> Press forward from your pelvis, so a little rotation under lifting through the spine, and just find that sense of length down the front of your back thigh. Good. From here, we're gonna take it forward. If you can bring your hands to the ground, excellent. Go for it. And then if you can sneak your outside hand inside and let your knee of your front leg open up slightly to the side, sometimes that's a nice stretch. I'm kind of leaning on the outer edge of my foot. No pain here, it should just be an opening sensation if you've got it. And you're always encouraged to find the one that works for you, right? All right, let's stand back onto that front foot. Move your back arm in a, a little bit, tuck your back toe, and then let's come up into a lunge and find a little rotation. Yeah, lowering the hip down. Yeah. Interesting, so found it hard to focus on good form, right? And so the, the benefit of doing this exercise, quite honestly, let's come out of this lunge, so lower your hand, lower your knee, come on up. So I'm just gonna turn to the other side so I can keep talking to you. The benefit of doing the exercise where you're asking your brain to pay attention, it's kind of twofold, right? So you're getting that benefit. Let's tuck that tail under and just press forward to begin. You're getting the benefit of the brain being challenged to be physical and also mental at the same time. So sometimes that can kind of scramble the signals and get frustrating. But you also find where your body really has that form kind of downloaded and embedded. Let's reach the arms forward if you can. So for some of us, it's like, all right, my body knows how to do a plank. Let's bring the hand to the inside if you like rainbow. <laughs> um, let's, uh, so you might say, oh, my body knows how to do a plank, or oh, this is actually requiring me like a lot of thought to do the good form of the plank and the memory. So remember, whenever we do brain games, let's stand back on that front foot, tuck your back foot under, and then find your rotation and your lunge. Whenever we do brain games, I try to always remind you that when you're scrambling, when you're a little frustrated, that's good. That is like your brain lifting a dumbbell. It's a challenge for your brain. When it's easy, it means it's not enough challenge. 
but let's lower down. Good. Let's go ahead and find our way back up to standing. So I'm gonna tuck my toes and just do a little pedal stretch here for a moment. Good. Walk yourself all the way in, bend your knees, roll up. Good, all right, so when it, when it isn't enough challenge, your brain's kind of hanging out, no big deal. When it's too much challenge and it's putting you into an angry, emotional place, that's maybe an indication that it's too much. Like when you get confused, disoriented, frustrated, angry, you know, when your nervous system is overwhelmed, when you feel like everything gets real small and over and, and heightened, then that is, a, um, that's an indication that we've done too much. So let's just finish by just taking a little swing side to side. Coffee helps, yeah. Same here, dude. Same here. So as we finish with just a little free movement, my question to you is can you remember those six words? Can you say them out loud right now? They were box, snake, leaf, pole, ear, and rainbow. Good. Come on all the way to the center. Let's take a deep breath in. And then release all the way down. And again. And release. One more time. Big breath in. Good, and release. Where's my remote? The more, before we go, everybody, let's just take a second. And what are we doing here? Check in. Uh, maybe we're not checking in. Darn it. Well, what happened? Oh, <laughs> the music stopped. It ended. Um, that's okay. So let's just check in remembering that anything we do in terms of movement within the classes can absolutely translate to your outside life. So in the event that you felt like something was really effective for you, then um, think about how your experience moving your body could help you be more present with conversations, with interactions in your outside life. Recently, I had a moment where I recognized that sometimes when I'm in a difficult conversation, I drop into teacher mode where I feel like it's my responsibility to teach the person why what they're saying is hurting my feelings, how it's hurting my feelings, what they could do differently, and how they might reconcile their whole entire life so that their life is better. <laughs> None of that is my responsibility in my life. My only responsibility is to say, ouch, or I don't think I like that, or hey, that doesn't feel great for me, and just express my feelings. So it's an interesting piece because as a teacher of movement, you know, there's a lot of explanation that goes on and responsibility for leading the class. But in life, I don't have to do that. And so that was a little aha moment considering how this translates or not to the outside world. So I hope you feel good, uplifting and fun. Start the day with a smile, go into the weekend. If you want a longer brain games um, experience, there are plenty of them in the on-demand library in all of the playlists. Thank you all for watching and noting that your playlists, that your favorites are certain videos I'm going through and I'm gonna plug them into playlists and the schedule will be up uh, this weekend, if you're not on my mailing list, make sure you join. I'll be sending an email out on Sunday as per usual, and I'll give you everything, um, <laughs> Heather, I'll give you everything you need in terms of the next few weeks. So bear with me in March. We're coming in like a lion, a very confused, upended, transitional lion. <laughs> and then April is my birthday month, so it's gonna be perfect. Everything is gonna go great. That's how I'm, I'm looking at that month. All right, my friends. You're awesome. Don't forget to stream videos this weekend. We're so close, so close. I love you.